G'day guys, we've got a physics question for you today. Now let's uh, just quickly go through it. An object has a mass of 2 kilos. The object's kinetic energy uniformly changes from 15 kilojoules to 64 kilojoules over this time period. So basically, if you don't know what this means, this just means from the time 0 to 12 seconds. What is the average speed of the object? Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're just going to write down what we know. We know that our energy kinetic, so our kinetic energy, and let's call this the initial one, is equal to 15,000 joules. Cool. And our kinetic energy 2, or our final kinetic energy, is equal to 64,000 joules. Great. We also know that the mass of this object, let's put it here, two kilos. So what we're going to do first is we're going to try and figure out how we're going to get to a solution for this question. So we have to uh, calculate the average speed of the object. Now it has a uniform change in its velocity. So what we can do is to work out the average speed over this time period. These won't really matter. We can just work out, well, we can just go the initial velocity and the final velocity, and we can find the average of them. So we can just go the velocity average is going to be the final velocity plus the initial velocity divided by 2. So that's how we're going to work out our average. Now we've got to figure out how we can calculate these final and initial velocities. Well for that we're going to use the uh, kinetic energy equation which relates velocity to an object's kinetic energy. So and that is kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared. Now, once we've got these two things, we can use this second one. We have the kinetic energy and we have the mass. We're looking for velocity. So we can rearrange this to have velocity is equal to 2 times the kinetic energy divided by the object's mass, and we square root the entire thing. That's just a little bit of uh, algebra, just rearranging this equation. These two things here are exactly the same. Okay, so if we have this equation now, and we know that we're using this to find these two values here, it's pretty self-explanatory where I'm going to go from here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the numbers that I know into this formula. So let's call it V1, which will correspond to this number here, is going to equal 2 times 15,000 divided by 2, and we square root the entire thing. And that will give us an answer of 122.47 meters per second, so egg 1. Cool. We can then work out velocity 2 by doing exactly the same thing. We're going to go 2 times the kinetic energy, 64 grand, and then we're going to divide it by 2. So effectively, the mass and the fact that we're timesing it by 2 will cancel each other out. We could just take the square root of 64,000. And this is 252.98 metres per second to the negative 1. Now, what I'm going to do now is to work out the average velocity. I'm going to just take the average of these two final and initial velocities. So I'm going to say the velocity average is equal to 122.47 and 252.98 divided by 2. 
which, not very complicated, gives us an answer of 187.73. meters per second to the negative one. Okay, so I think the reason why it has this time interval here is because there might be a second part to this question which then asks, okay, then what was the, how far did the object go over the time interval? Which you could just simply just go 187.73 multiplied by 12. But this question isn't asking that, it's just asking for the uh, average speed of the object, which we worked out to be 187.73. So I hope this you know, question helped. It's not a very complicated solution. It's just a matter of rearranging that kinetic energy formula and understanding that because it accelerates uniformly, then we can just take a straight arithmetic mean of the two velocities. But yeah, again, if the video helped, yeah, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, it, you know, it helps me out a little bit. And until next time, guys, you know, enjoy your studies.